this is Alan Elliott and this is Tutorial 10, Date and Time Functions. In this tutorial we're going to cover how dates are stored, how to assign a date to a variable, the Y2K problem, and some common uses of the date functions. <coughs> dates are stored in SAS as an integer beginning with the date 1-1-1960. That is, a positive number indicates a day after 1-1960 a negative number indicates a date before that 1-1-1960. So date values contain both date and time are stored as the number of seconds since midnight on 1-1-1960. Now dates are typically displayed in SAS using some sort of format such as MMDDYY10 dot which displays the date as shown here. To assign a date you can place a D at the end of an assignment of a date value. For instance, here are three examples, uh, B date, begin date, and exam date. Notice the D that appears after the date, uh, which the date is in quotes. Or you can uh, use uh, an input statement to read a date. You just have to assign uh, some sort of a format, and this is one example of how to do that. There's still the Y2K problem. If you're not aware of that, there was a problem in which uh, dates in computers were stored as two-digit dates uh, up until uh, the year 2000. And this caused a problem because uh, the year 15 was that 1915 or 2015. So you have to be aware that there is a cutoff in SAS uh, that where the default is 1926. So that a two-digit date uh, given as 15 like 3, 10, 15, is interpreted as being in 2015. But a two-digit date after 19, after 26, such as 27, 3, 20, 27, is interpreted as being 1927. So you need to be aware of that. You can change the default by using the system option year cutoff equals some value. There's some common ways to use dates. If you have uh, two dates in SAS format, you can simply subtract them to get the number of days between them since they are integers. Uh, or you can use some functions to uh, find the difference between dates using, for instance, the date diff function if you're using a particular accounting uh, criteria. And you can see there, there are several ways of counting uh, days in a year or a month according to several different accounting uh, criteria. Some other date functions that are commonly used are, the, are just the date function, which returns the current computer date. Date time returns the current date and time. Date part extracts and returns only the date from a SAS uh, date variable. Um, the day returns the day of the, of the month from 1 to, 1, uh, to 31. DHMS returns a SAS date time value. You enter the date, hour, minute, and second and it converts it into a SAS date. Similarly, MDY, if you enter month, day, year, returns a SAS date value. Month extracts the number of the month from 1 to 12, and year extracts the year, such as 2019. Here's an example of uh, another function. The INTCK function allows you to find the interval between two dates where you want to find something maybe different than the number of, of days between them. Uh, and you can see in the list here below, you, you, show, you indicate an interval uh, and then a from and a to date. So you can uh, determine the number of days between two intervals, to, between two dates, the number of weekdays, the number of years, the number of months, and so forth and so on. So here's an example here. Weeks equal INTCK, and then the interval is listed as week, and then you have two dates there, and it returned value of 1904. Uh, which indicating the number of weeks between the two indicated dates. Other date examples are the MDY function, a handy function, where you can enter three different uh, values like 10, 12, 2016, and it converts that into a, uh, a variable called BDate. It's the same as uh, saying BDate equal 12 October 2016 with a D after it. Uh, or you can uh, in create uh, variables month, day, and year and use those variables in the MDY function. Uh, there are several ways of creating a, uh, a, a SAS date there. There are many other date and time functions available in SAS. Check Appendix B in SAS Essentials for a more complete list of SAS date and time functions. 
And that's the end of tutorial 10. Our next topic will be character functions.